Hi, in this video I will show you how to submit your game uh, for Lab 15. Uh, the first step is to make sure that you can paste all of your code into CodePad. And one of the tricks we're going to do is to take pieces of your code, we'll take a little piece, we'll take a big piece of your code, and I'm going to cut it out of here. I'm going to create a new file, uh, and I'm going to save it as um, uh, subfile1.c. Okay? And in the place where I just removed it, here, I'm going to now include quote subfile1.c. Okay? And so for each of the pieces that I've removed, I am going to replace it with the include file. Okay, so I'll take another chunk to illustrate a couple of chunks that I've removed. Uh, you can see here I'm just playing with a starter file. This is not the real game. So I take another chunk here, I X, uh, file, new, paste, okay, uh, save it as sub file 2. And so you can have up to four of these subfiles, so five total files. Th the original file here, subfile2.c. Okay, so now this game has got three files. Uh, I make sure that it still compiles. I build it. Okay. I could make sure it still runs. That's a good idea. So now the next step is to take the source code and upload it to the cloud. So I take all of this stuff here, select all. This is the first one, copy. And then I go to the cloud. There's a couple of ways to find it. From the uh, edX, I can go this way and paste it in. CodePad is not part of edX. It's, it's a way for you to share with the rest of the world. Uh, since we're going to share this code, I don't want it to be private. Since there's no hardware, I'm not going to actually run it. Um, CodePad has a limit of about 64,000 characters, so you got to break it into pieces uh, so that you can submit the whole thing. Uh, I scroll down to the bottom of it to make sure it got the whole thing. Here we go. All right, so this uh, portion here, we're going to need copy. Uh, I'm going to go now and start the pasting process. Here in the Google form, I am going to uh, enter the entities that I need. Uh, I'm going to put in my name. Uh, this is optional. Uh, <clears throat> it's not optional, but you can put whatever you want in here. You can put your alias or your real name, either way. Uh, the email uh, is also required, but this is not going to be shared with the rest of the students, so we will not show this. Uh, but you need to put your real email in there uh, so that we can contact you. And then uh, this part lets other people know about your game. So uh, play my game. Uh, it is fun. So uh, figure out a way to encourage people to try your game by giving them a description. You get about 500 uh, characters, not 500 words, about 500 characters. Uh, and then these are where the source codes will go. We did the first one already, so I'm going to paste that in here. That's the first one. I got to go back to my program. Uh, that was this one. Now I'm going to take subfile, select all, copy. I'm going to go to back to CodePad. Where are you, CodePad? That's not CodePad. The internet. There we go. CodePad. Here. Uh, create a new paste. Paste it in. Again, I'm just pasting in the starter code. This is not a real game. I don't want to run it. And then I'm going to take the website here. So that's the second one. Remember, there's three of them. I go back over here. Okay, not that one, this one. And paste it in there. There's subfile 2. Okay, go back to my game. Uh, take subfile 2, select all, copy. 
Go back to CodePad. Okay. Create a new paste. Paste it in. Uh, don't run it. Again, after every time I paste it in, I can check to make sure the whole thing is there, not cut off at the bottom. And then we go like that. Copy this. Copy. Go over to my submission. I paste it in here. Okay. So the code uh, is broken into one, two, three, or five different parts uh, such that if a student downloads this code, uh, they're going to call it subfile one. They download this one, it'll be subfile two. Uh, and then in this case, I don't have a three and four, so I'll leave it optional. Uh, one of the ways to win the competition is to make a 60 second uh, video of playing your game and you'll paste that in here and then we'll upload uh, and make a, a YouTube channel uh, and then students will vote up uh, their favorite and that's how we'll tell who wins. So you got to make a, a YouTube uh, video and upload the URL right there. I didn't make one uh, so I'm going to leave that blank. Again the whole thing is optional and so once I got my name, my email, uh, a description of the game, my source code, which again is broken into one of five parts, regular uh, <coughs> space invaders dot C goes here, and then subfile one, two, or three, or four uh, go down there. Uh, my YouTube link goes in here, and then I push submit. That's how it works. Uh, if you'd like to resubmit your game, you might want to uh, take note of this uh, of this link right here. That allows you to go back and edit your file if you want to change it. All right. So in summary, what we're doing is making a game uh, that will compile such that you uploaded the entire source code, uh, and then when you download it, uh, it fits this. Uh, it fits this configuration where the project remains exactly the same. Everybody's project window will be the same. And uh, basically, the Space Invaders.c is the program that gets compiled. And you don't change uh, the Nokia, you don't change Texas, you don't change random, and you don't add any other uh, files here uh, into the project. Uh, and when you're, you're second, third, fourth, or fifth file is added in using include quote subfile 1.c23 or 4. All right, that's how it works. Go ahead and try it. And remember to be really nice to each other when you're looking at each other's games. Uh, try to be constructive. Uh, try to have fun with it. Okay, uh, we'll show you another video later about how to download the codes. But for now, that's how we upload.